at the Noble Den Hotel. And I'm just gonna give you guys a quick tour of our room. They had this cool overhead light with these LED lights and a full length mirror as well. They had full length windows. And right below us you could see the restaurant that was connected which was pretty cool. Um, a section just for the restroom. And I loved how modernized this hotel was. And one of my favorite parts was the shower because they had the shower head attachment and they had an overhead waterfall shower and they didn't have a main drain that you could like actually step on. It was all like tile floor. It was really nice. A really nice shower. I loved it. It was definitely one of my favorite parts. And the hotel included toothbrushes, um, just quick essential shower caps, q-tips, and also travel makeup wipes, which was cool. And they also included some um, room slippers that I didn't show, but those were cute and I used those too. I definitely love these mirrors. <laughs> And the room is just like a perfect size, especially for a New York hotel. This is the bedding area, and they had a little desk area, as well as a mini fridge and another full-length window. Where you could also see the restaurant once again. This was the hot pot restaurant. Another favorite part of mine was that it was a hardwood floor hotel room. Carpets really bother me, especially if they look dingy. I just loved that it was hardwood. Like, for that, that's like a five star for me. And yeah, this is my quick little outfit before we head out. Just a little travel outfit. And the hotel was just so cute overall. I loved how modernized it was. And now they also had a rooftop section, which obviously it was freezing out. So nothing was like set up, but you could still go out there and chill. So there were some views of the Empire State Building. And it was just really nice up there. I love how you could kind of see the whole city from where you are. Lower Manhattan and stuff like that. And everything just looks so pretty at night. And once again, here's the um, restaurant I wanted to go to so bad, but we ended up choosing another restaurant. And now we're just taking a walk around Little Italy and getting to see where we are and stuff like that. Trying to find somewhere to eat. We ended up choosing this place. It was not as packed as the other Italian restaurants. It was cute and cozy inside. And I ended up getting the chicken gnocchi, which was amazing. After this day, I literally been craving gnocchi every single day. So after that, we went into a store called Christmas in New York, which literally had every single ornament you can ever find, and all of them were customizable, so that was cool. And I just love how this just brought all the Christmas feels to me. It got me so excited for Christmas, and everything was so pretty inside. They had so many different decorations, and it was just crazy. It really felt like Christmas in this store. I'm just gonna take you guys through a quick little tour of the store just so you can get all the Christmas feels from it too. They had a little candy shop set up inside and just so many different Santas, so many different Christmas decorations.
So I continued just walking through and we checked out the oldest pastry shop in America, which was super busy. This was at like 10.30 at night and everyone was literally eating dessert. Like, this is my type of people. I want dessert at midnight. And it was really cute inside and they just had a bunch of different pastries. I'm not really a pastry type of girl. I'm more of like a homemade sweet kind of girl, like cookies and brownies and stuff. But everything looked amazing i would definitely want to try like some of those cakes so instead i went to milk and cream cereal bar which was a customizable ice cream shop kind of they had every single cereal flavor you could think of and they basically mix it up with the ice cream of your choosing And I think I got the Cocoa Puffs and then I added cookie dough to it with a vanilla Oreo ice cream. It was so good, but by that time I was so full. Alright, so that is the end of the day one in New York. We just went out to eat, walked around, but I'm really tired. It's been a long day and I have to get ready for tomorrow's big day with a good american i'm super nervous but excited i don't really know what to expect but i'll see you guys in the morning with my makeup done my hair done and my outfit and just show you guys all of that so i'll talk to you guys tomorrow and let you guys know how everything is going okay it is day two and i just finished getting ready and shout out to day two hair. Um, so I didn't really sleep too well. Pretty nervous right now, but I'm gonna do it and hopefully I have everything together. Ready for the people. But it is at the Facebook headquarters um, in New York. So I'm excited and I'm gonna head there after I pick up some breakfast and let me show you guys my full outfit I usually wear all black to a casting but it's not like they don't have like a dress code or anything so I decided to wear my fave jeans and that's all so I'll see you guys when it's all over so I headed over to the Facebook headquarters and they basically just had different panels with Instagram Q&A's and all about Instagram I checked out some of the good American denim I didn't really get too much footage in here because I didn't know what I could record and share in the building. So I'll share with you guys in the end of this video how everything went. But I was number 63, so it went by really quick. After the casting, I just walked around a little bit more and checked out that part of the city and i headed to a few sneaker stores one being nike i just love all the different sneaker stores they have in new york because they're like so high tech and just different and then i checked out the rockefeller center christmas tree which was really cool to me because i had never been i didn't go ice skating just because i didn't know how much time i had on my hands after the casting but it was such a nice day. It wasn't too cold outside. It was cold, but not like, oh my gosh, I just see that person fall. <laughs> All right, back to the scheduled program. I'm really sorry, but I was not, I did not catch anyone fall when I was actually recording. So yeah, this is Bryant Park where there was another ice skating rink and it was kind of like all the way down the street and they had another big christmas tree almost similar to the rockefeller tree just with different colors and lights and they also had a bunch of different markets here as well as different food trucks everything was really cool and artsy i loved it i love little markets like this and just walking around and seeing all the different artistry and all of that everyone was just like 
super laid back and just chilling outside and eating and drinking. And then I headed over to Saks on 5th, which was so amazing, beautiful inside and out. And here's the light show. So yeah, I don't want to get copyrighted, so just enjoy the light show with some different music. This is definitely something you have to see in person. It's really beautiful, and I'm so glad I was able to experience it. We caught it as soon as it started, so I was really excited about that because I had thought I wasn't going to catch it while I was in New York. that pretty much wraps up my trip i'll catch up with you guys back at home and let you guys know how the casting went okay guys so i'm back it's like two days later from a new york trip and i'm back home with my camera so the quality might be a little different i just didn't want to bring my camera there because i didn't want to have to like watch out for it and be holding it on me and stuff like that but the trip was super fun and I loved the experience. There were, there was like a room full of girls. It was at the Facebook headquarters in New York on Broadway. So basically they had like mini like panel Q and A sessions and they just talked about like the Instagram algorithm and a bunch of different things and how they're testing out like likes versus no likes and stuff like that the panel they were on they were almost finishing when i got there so i didn't really get too many useful tips um basically about the the likes versus no likes is that they're really still testing it out to see um how they like it and they're testing it out in some countries but um yeah they weren't really too sure with that i don't know where that's going but honestly they just talked about like hashtagging and stuff and that it's still like it still does make a difference i mean besides if you're like a huge influencer or a huge account or whatever then it might not make the same difference as a micro influencer so yeah like i was saying i was number 63 they i think they did like five groups four to five groups before they called my group and I was pretty nervous when they called me in. Um, Emma Grady was there, the CEO of Good American. Um, and then someone from Elle magazine. And then a scout from IMG was also there. So basically when you walked into the room of basically the judges, um, the four judges were sitting like alongside the wall. And then you had a photographer in the corner taking kind of like your portfolio shots so like a side view um portfolio front view and a back view of you so i took my photos and then i was paired up with the img scout and our conversation was actually really good um he enjoyed like all the answers that i had for him basically they just asked me why i'd want to be part of good um what makes me a fit for the brand what i do and and he just asked like if i am interested in modeling or if i've ever modeled before and 
yeah it was just really good and we kind of just went back and forth and he loved what i had to say and he complimented me on like my outfit and my hair and stuff so i'm like that just made me like super comfortable right before i even started talking which is always good it was like a really good icebreaker just to get into the conversation and calm my nerves down i was super nervous but that the whole thing overall was like five minutes so after that ended i was really it i just have a few clips from that just because i wasn't sure what i could record and what i couldn't because when i was reading the like document i had to sign i was just like speeding through it but um but yeah um i got to see like a few of her clothing pieces from good and kind of just um get an inside view of everything which was really cool i found it really cool how they partnered with instagram this year so basically we were able to show her clothing that she had there and be able to tag it on our instagram like shop to tag so you could tag it and then shop straight from our individual instagrams which was really cool but yeah other than that i've never held my camera like this i'm literally holding it with my hand and it's very heavy so my elbows like on my knee i think if i'm gonna do more vlogs i'll definitely get like a tripod but yeah hopefully this angle isn't too crazy but yeah i just wanted to close with that so basically i got to meet with an img model scout and kind of interview for good american so it was like a two-in-one and i just think like out of all the people that i could have out of all four judges like i met with an img scout like come on i'd love to be signed to img that was just huge and I'm so thankful for the opportunity it was really good but yeah i'm so excited um to hear back from either one would be amazing but definitely the oppor just that opportunity was good in itself so yeah i'm gonna close out this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed my little new york vlog and if you guys want to see more vlogs from me let me know and i will try to get those to you and all right thanks for watching bye <laughs>